hope you can hear me pretty well. I am in a rock climbing gym. I know. Okay, this is my first public vlog in a rock climbing gym. So, like I said, hopefully you can hear me okay. And um, I'm gonna let you have a taste of the fun that I get to do when I climb. So, I'm gonna show you around the gym. This place just got really, really busy. So, there's lots of people here. And in the background, you can hear the knocking. That's them working on the bouldering wall. So, unfortunately, that means I'm not gonna be bouldering today. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but there's a lot of top roping here, and there's some auto belay devices, so we'll get to do some of that for sure. I'm probably going to get some strange looks because I'm vlogging in public. I rarely vlog in public, but I get strange looks all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so over here I'll show you kind of a little bit of the layout of the land. An auto belay device is a device that you can clip into and then you can climb the wall all on your own. You don't have to have a partner. And you can climb all the way to the top. And if you fall, it's, it's like a mechanism to keep you from falling all the way to the ground to your horrible death. Um, there's like five of them here. I already did the one that's right next to the opening, like when you, when you come in the gym. Easy stuff. Um, and this gym, they label all of their climbs like five, six to five. I see one right there that's a 513. So the skill level is the easiest one is like a 56. And the most difficult one is the higher numbers like a 513. I climbed a 59 and I never climb a 59 with nails. So it was really easy. So I'm guessing that their scale is a little bit easy. So maybe I'll try a 510 today. It'll make me feel like all super and amazing, even though I think it's just that maybe their their numbering system's a little on the lighter side. So who's, who knows? But I think I'll probably try to do either an auto belay, or I'll see if I can find a climbing buddy and they can belay me, and then I'll point this up so that you can watch a climb. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. So I've got my climbing gear on. Just a couple days ago, I showed you what I bought while I was in San Francisco. So I'll let you check it out again. I'm wearing my climbing shoes. Hold on, let me turn it over. Here's my climbing shoes. This is the first time you get to see them on. My climbing shoes, they're, they're leather and really, really sticky right here because that way you can climb on a wall. I love that there's like a point right here and my toes are like scrunched right there. So it's not like the normal way you buy shoes where you want a little bit of give room. You want your toes to be like super, super tight in there. Because then when you dig your foot into the wall, you can get a really good grip. And this part of the heel is leather all the way to the top because when you do a heel hook, a heel hook is when you grab onto the wall like this and then pull down. Um, you want to have all of the stickiness right there on the back of the heel. So heel hooks are like my favorite thing to do on a wall because they look cool. Yeah, they look cool. Like even if it wasn't necessary, you want to do one just because it looks good. Like that means you're putting your leg up on the wall. It kind of makes you look badass, if you ask me. <laughs> and then I've got my harness. My harness is right there. I showed this to you the other day in a bikini. Do you remember that vlog? The bikini vlog? Yeah, I was, well, you know. So this is where I um, tie in from. These tighten around my legs. And then this tightens around my waist so I don't fall off the wall and die because I kind of want to live to do porn another day. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye to this part of the film where I'm talking to you. And the next time you see something, you'll see me climbing on a wall. Alright, hopefully I'm looking kind of badass. There's some of the wall climbing. Yeah. Should be a good time. Okay, see you soon.
see me go up. But I did go all the way to the top and then fell yeah right near the top. That's where I fell. Like one position from the end. And the one bad thing about an auto belay is if you fall you don't have a belayer to like catch you where you fell so you can't start off where you left off. You have to start all the way over from the bottom. That particular one is fun because the entire way up, you're stemming against the corner of the wall. So I don't know if you can see all the little white holes. You basically stem your way all the way up the, the wall. It's pretty cool. So, all right, I'm gonna catch my breath. If I get the chance, I'll do another one of these. That was really fun. Let's do the next one. You have that right foot. Climb on. Send on. You're on. Yeah, send time.
<laughs> Go for the hard knob. Just wanted to close out my climb today. I'm in the locker room and I'm changing so I can get some food before I'm done for the day. But pretty exciting day. I climbed my very first V10B. Um, well, at least my very first in like freaking three years or four years. <laughs> So that was pretty fun, although I think they had it kind of skewed a little on the easy side, so I'm not gonna call it like a true V10, or sorry, 510B, 510B, top rope. Um, but it was tons of fun. And then I did some bouldering at the very end because at first the bouldering wall was completely closed off, and then they just opened it for like the last half hour that I was here to climb. So um, I did a couple V1s, V2s, my arms and my fingers were kind of shot, and yep, you know you've climbed good today when you've broken a nail. So after I get some food, we're headed to the nail salon. <laughs> story of my life, hey, you can either have pretty nails and never climb, or you can climb and get your nails redone once in a while, so, happens. Anyway, I had a boatload of fun. So, met some cool people here, uh, everybody was pretty cool, and yeah, good times. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.